Hey everyone, so today we dive into one of my favorite types of lenses. That's gonna be one of the blue mirrored boys. Now I know you can't see it here very well, but we'll fix that later on in the video. For now, we're gonna talk about the brand new release from American Optical in their original pilot series, which is going to be this beautiful matte black with that stunning blue mirrored lens on the front. We'll get into how it works, how it looks, and well, that's most of it. We're gonna talk a little bit about the frame too, just because we haven't addressed it in a while and there have been some changes and updates and tweaks I have seen along the way. Let's get into it and have some fun. So we have the brand new release here in my hands from American Optical, which is their black with the blue mirrored lens. The black's a new colorway, the blue mirrored lens is a new color. It's all brand new, so it deserves a look, right? Right, don't argue with me on this one. You can deal with it, it's what it is. So these guys, we've got several new little, little tweaks. First of all, what I'm gonna point out, I've noticed on the recent ones that this one I have already adjusted, but these guys are coming in like cranked way down. You put them on, it just doesn't feel comfortable. It hurts like hell back here. I don't know what's going on. I really, really don't. But when it's fixed, and these are more straight, and I assure you this is how every one of them I am sending out ships, it goes on, it feels good. So the glass lenses in this one, we've got the glass polar with the blue mirror, again, just because it's so pretty and it's new. And we need to talk about all the new things. The black finish on these, really, really snazzy upgrade. I actually far prefer this to the silver, the matte gun metal, and the gold that are out there. The golden green is a classic. You'll see me quote this every time. You can't go wrong with it and you should have one in your wardrobe, but this is it for me. The matte black is a signature look the blue flash mirror, oh, come on. Like you've got to ask me. That's my signature anyway. So the way they've done this though, it does have a very nice black powder coat finish. I, eh, I'm making some assumptions there. It's pretty tough, it's pretty durable. I haven't really found a way to super easily scuff it up. Obviously I want to have my fun and test these things out. This is a worthwhile mention itself. So. If you're familiar with AO and their pilots with the bayonet tips, you'll know that they are crystal clear on every single other color of this frame. I don't like that. They tend to build up, they tend to get green, they tend to get gross, and the clear fades and gets ugly, and just everything about it is bad over time. AO, if you're paying attention, this smoke is what needs to be on all of them. Anything other than the clear, come on guys. I don't know what you were thinking there. Now, yeah, <laughs> I'm that guy, deal with it. Now they love hearing from me, let me tell you, because when I call, it's always a problem. The overall fit of these, of course, it's the Pilot. We know what it's like. This is the 5520, so it's gonna be your average size, 22, 20, 20, 55, 20. So you've got 20 millimeters here, 55 from here to here. The other two are going to be the 52 and the 57. A little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. Rather than making you jump to another video, I'm gonna throw a few of the basics in on this one too, since I'm kind of diving into the frame. Now, I mentioned there were a few little updates. One of them was these with the smoky tips. I haven't really seen any changes to the nose pads, still kind of the same material there. But worth mentioning, I have noticed, and if you saw my original AO Pilot video, I had some pretty nasty things to say about how they were soldered and the joints and the look of it in comparing it to the Randolphs. Super clean welds, super clean everything. The finish was great. The overall look of it was good. There were no obvious, you know, I couldn't just look at it and go, yeah, that was soldered there. So I don't know if they've upgraded to a new type of manufacturing with precision welding, or if they have just gone back and started cleaning up those solders a lot better. But you can see it is much, much more crisp. There's no obvious little dot or slag or anything hanging around there. The joints are a little bit cleaner here where it butts up to the temple, really, really nice. Now, here's why I am pretty positive this is a powder coat finish. 
And that is when we get in here, and yes, I did loosen this up intentionally so I could easily show you on camera. And on that hinge, we have, you can see that raw metal underneath, right? Because obviously, if that's powder coated, we have to go clean this back out. Inside the hinge too, which unfortunately, I don't think was done as well as that was cleaned out. I have not taken this fully apart to look in there and see, but I can tell you right off, this is not right. It has a very gritty nature opening and closing. This one that I've loosened up really too far doesn't have it as much, but you know, if you put a little pressure up or down either way where it is rubbing against the inside of that barrel, you can feel it. You can almost see it really the way it goes down on camera like that, rather than being smooth and crisp. Now at this price point, obviously I'm nitpicking. I mean, they're still anywhere from 200 to 265, depending on how you option them. This one in particular with the polarized blue mirrored glass lenses is gonna be your most expensive one. Optically, it is also going to be the best one across the board. Hands down, that's what I'm sticking to. Anytime you have these nice warmer tonal lenses with that blue flash mirror, the wearing experience is the best. It's really comfortable. You get bright, vivid colors. You get nice contrast out there. To take away from the polarization that actually dulls contrast, but that's another debate for another day that we're not getting into this time. We will always get back into the polarization, but not this time. So, the overall fit and feel on these, once adjusted, is good. It's as good as it's ever been. I don't know why that we have gone from this, from the factory with that little soft arc, to now they come in like this, but it don't feel good, okay? It's like putting your head in a pair of vice grips. This feels good. This still has some nice room for exactly as they're intended with the headgear to fit nicely. The way they're coming in is pushing this out. So you put headgear over that and now you've got a pair of sunglasses that was already hurting you that now really, 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 really hurts. We'll get some footage of that guy out in the real world and show you what it actually looks like because unfortunately, as we know, when I am down here, the mirrored lenses, sadly, they just don't show up. They don't show up for the party like I do. I am here for it. Obviously, it's black and blue all the time. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let me know what you thought of this video. If it helped you, you know, you want to buy them, go to the link down below, get them from my store. You're going to pay the same as you do from AO, so why not, right? Mm, go do that. Uh, now that's out of the way. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you see all the latest reviews, all the cool stuff that we're doing here from lens technology to reviews on sunglasses. And if not, well, I guess I won't catch you next time. But if you did, I will catch you next time. You guys take care in the meantime.